Catfishing is basically hook, line, and sinker. It very seldom does it get more involved than that. Although, as always, you can fine tune your components. You need a nice range of things that will cover your whole uh, gamut of conditions you'll face, starting with these flat river sinkers. Thread your line through, put a bead on the back, and then put your leader on here. Uh, these will lay on the bottom and they won't get swept away and they won't roll in the current, so keep your bait right where you're positioned. We have a whole array of different hook sizes here. This, these are all the classic J style or octopus hook as a VMC example. They are, they're running up to about six aught in size, which sounds like a really big hook, but we're, we're into some really big fish today. Here's our tournament circle hook, which is a hook that works so well for still fishing when you just have your rod in the holder and you wait for the fish to pull on the line and they basically they will hook themselves. We've got some nice barrel swivels in here. We're tying up our leaders. A few spin and glow floats for a little extra added attraction and visibility. Some spinner rigs. Clevis spins on the line, gives you some flash and vibration. And here's our last but not least, here's the model line that we're using. Suffolk Siege in, in 25 pound test neon tangerines. Ooh, there he is, Jer. Oh, yes. Oh, oh you yes. got him. Stuck him, that looks like a good one. Real nice fish here. He's cutting across the lines. He's cutting across. I'll get this other line. I'll, I'll clear okay. this one right here. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're clear. We're clear. I'll tell you, this is a real war here. If you like being sporty, these rods also come in the spinning version. And you can't quite crank down and power a catfish with a spinning <laughs> rod like you do with the, with the casting gear. But this yeah. is a lot of fun. It's fun. You can still put a lot of power on them. Oh, yeah. That rod's got a yeah, ton I, of power. Yeah, yeah. But it's a, it's a fun experience. You betcha. This will be one of the bigger fish you catch all year on the spinning rod. I can oh, no doubt. I can guarantee you that if you try this catfish. Oh, that's Whoa, a big bull that there. there. That's oh. a big bull head. Wow. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. That's a two hand. Two. Oh, oh, yeah. oh look at the wow. beef. Another that's a big beefy handle. fish. What a big beefy critter, huh? That's a big one. Let me grab the tail of that one, Dave, just to help Whoa. you out, huh? What? <laughs> you like that? What a monster. Two-handed <laughs> two fish grabs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, this is such a, such a special place, and it's such a fun thing to do. It's relaxing. It doesn't require a tremendous amount of tackle. Oh. Just a few simple things and a little bit of know-how on how the river's laid out. And you know, and compared you know, to the way you're running around when you're musky fishing or you're walleye fishing, you're just going like mad moving. This is nice, easy, slow paced. You know, you get, you get your rest and your relaxation in, in between fighting big giants like these.